Flower Farm Plant Killer here, Jesse with the Bernard Prayer Flower Farm, and it is time for me to finally show you what's going on on the farm. I'm so excited to show y'all what I've been doing here on the farm. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jesse, and well, I'm a former plant killer located in Zone 8, Ruston, Louisiana, and I just completed my first year of flower farming and getting ready to start year two. I am prepping for year two, and that is what this video is. So, I took these clips over the past two weeks as we've made progress. I'm excited to show y'all what I've been up to, so let's get into the video. I just want to give you what it looks like right now. Let's get after it. Step one is complete. Can you tell what it is? Probably not. <laughs> Step one was pull up all the irrigation and trash that is out there. So let me show you what step one actually looks like. Step one, all the irrigation. This is all the drip tape, poly tubing, trash that came out of there. Well, it took like an hour really sweaty. Time to go rehydrate before we move on to step two, which I'm not sure what that is yet. Step two, mow majority of it down so that we can pull up all the landscape fabric and staples. guys I really want to start with a nice blank slate so that means I've got to pull up all the landscape fabric and black plastic that I put down and that's okay but it's gonna take some time luckily it's getting nice and cool out so it won't be too hard let's get to pulling some staples Y'all, it's been a week of just pulling tarps. And as you can see, it looks not that much different, except it's just mixing a lot of black tarp now. It looks like a lot of the grass has been killed in a lot of these areas is now just maintaining these areas where the grass has successfully been killed. And then killing the grass that's left. Because there, there is some grass left. Let me show you. I have little islands of grass. So we'll get those taken care of. The only last spot that's really left to pull up is on this outer edge over here, the zinnias. And the zinnia bed is just beautiful, guys. I'm, kind of, I'm so sad to be getting it tore up. Let me show you. Okay, it is Monday before my dad comes this weekend to tear up the ground. I've got to get rid of these rose bushes. I've got one, two, five. Five rose bushes I gotta get rid of. Uh, I'm not saving them. I'm, I'm just gonna chunk them. I don't know where I would put them. I don't want them anymore. It, it, it's time to get rid of them. They need to be deadheaded and stuff. And I don't feel like doing it. So going to flip them to bits and throw them in the wheelbarrow and try not to tear up my hands too bad. There's also ants. I planted this rose bush here last year so it shouldn't be too established since it just sat here during the fall through now. I hope.
down. We have made it Wednesday. My dad's coming out this weekend to tear up this whole bed so that we can put fall bulbs in. It's not that easy, of course, but today we will be ripping out more staples and plastic to uncover all the dead grass that's hopefully dead. What I'm standing on now is definitely not dead, so we'll leave it a little longer, as long as possible. Um, I did have a question about silage tarps. So, silage tarps are basically a thick plastic. That's what's killing the grass. It doesn't allow any air to penetrate or water to penetrate. And that's what kills the grass. The best time to lay the plastic or silage tarp, if you're trying to kill grass, is during the heat of summer. Which, today it feels really nice, y'all. It is like, I don't know, 60s out here, maybe low 70s. Feels nice. Which is not good if I'm wanting to kill weeds. If you're going to buy a silage tarp to kill weeds, you really need to use it during the heat of the summer or when it's nice and hot. And then it only takes a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two to kill the grass. But if you do it during the winter like I did last year, it takes months. Be prepared to leave that tarp down for months. Because as you get colder, the grass goes into dormancy and then it's really hard to kill. So let's get to pulling staples. pile of dirt from last year sitting over to the side of the flower farm. I used it as topsoil to help try and make my beds a little bit better but I was doing it with a shovel and a wheelbarrow and I got tired. So it's been sitting there since May of this year and when we did the bulb beds and put down tarps we discovered a few low spots. So my father came over with his tractor and scooped up that dirt for me and put it in all of the low spots in that bulb bed. Not only did he do that, he also dissed up the whole bulb bed to help break up the land for me. And then he also dissed up and extended my main flower farm area. Oh my goodness, I'm so thankful to my daddy for doing that. Because could you imagine me being out there with that little tiller trying to disc all this up? It would take me forever and I would probably lose my arms because that tiller is so rough on my arms. So I'm so thankful that he was able to come out and do that. So daddy, if you're watching, thank you.
so you can see behind me it's been a week since my dad has been out and I've got all of the bulb area completely tarp now and this area is still dissed up I've got compost on the way I'm getting mushroom river sand mixture compost to go out in the main bulb bulb main bed area once I have that I'm going to till it in and then cover all of that up with landscape fabric and tarp to create nice stale seed beds I'm also this year going to make sure that my rows are wide enough my walkways are wide enough for my golf cart that we have to go down the road so this year we're working a little bit smarter not harder or trying to we'll put the flower buckets in the back of the cart with water and we'll just drive it down the strips so I'm very excited uh, in another two to three weeks I will uncover this bulb area again by that time all the weeds should have germinated and died under there I think I'm gonna buy some roundup to kill the grass around the perimeter because I would like to eventually put down bark or wood chips something for my walkways on this this bed because I'm not planning on using landscape fabric because it's bulbs so I want more natural walkways that I can maintain because I still want my husband to be able to mow this area down because I'm sure there's going to be weeds eventually but that's what's going on here at the farm we are transforming forming starting with a clean slate and of course i'm gonna bring you along with me the entire way so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye